Hello and welcome to Sandwiches of History. You know, there's a lot of debate about whether a hot dog is a sandwich or not. Well, today we're making a hot dog a sandwich. That's right, from the new hot dog cookbook of 1968, it's the overnight hot dog sandwich. And uh, I do have to cook something now and finish it tomorrow, but you'll see it all in one video again, okay? Let's get to it. Okay, to kick things off, we start with chopped hot dogs, grated American cheese. I had singles, so I had to kind of cut it up with the knife. And cream cheese. Okay, before we move on to the next part, we have to stack these, and you'll notice I'm putting it in a dish. And there's a reason for that, which you'll see in just a sec. Yes, that's right, we have to make something to pour over it. Starts with an egg, add milk, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, whisk this together. I moved it to a slightly smaller container since it's just one sandwich. Uh, the main recipe calls for like, to make eight sandwiches. So anyway, we pour this over the top, and then that sits in the refrigerator overnight. Well, here we are the next day. It's been soaking overnight. Uh, looks really appetizing. And we put it in the oven for about a half hour at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. While that bakes, we're gonna make a sauce that goes over the top of the sandwich once it's cooked. So we got a tablespoon of butter, quarter cup of uh, onion. I'm gonna get that so it's translucent. Okay, now that they're slightly transparent, we add a half a can of condensed mushroom soup <laughs> and half a cup of half and half. Next, we add in chopped, coarsely chopped, hard-boiled egg and minced parsley. Oh, there it is out of the oven. Now I gotta transfer it to a plate and top with our delicious sauce. I'm not gonna lie to you, this does not look great. Um, but let's give the overnight hot dog sandwich a go. It's just this big gloppy mess. I don't know why would anyone would go to the trouble to make this, to be honest with you. You taste the hot dog, you taste the cheese, there's a little bit of the parsley from the sauce, but it's just weird. It's so much work for like, eh, it's okay. Okay, so the only way I can think of to plus this up, vinegar-based hot sauce to cut through all this cream and cheese and egg. I know it's not a sophisticated plus up, but boy howdy, it's gonna help, I think. And it does. Vinegar cuts through the fat. I don't hate it. But I also don't understand why someone would take the time to go through all of this just for that. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it. I might finish it. See you next time. Oh.